All right, guys, this is Bank Nifty and H4 chart. Uh, let me show you something about Bank Nifty. Now you can see Bank Nifty are creating lower low and the lower high, lower low and the lower high. And this line, you can see they are act as a, a resistance. So we have seen they are trying to break this diagonal trend line. So I just connected this swing high point at this swing high point and this swing high point now you can see exactly we have seen price are following this diagonal trend line now we have seen this is a resistance line so now you can see another resistance line we have seen price just broke here 200 exponential moving average in the same time we have seen 200 sma line simple moving average both are there they broke here and they create a new low and price again push up toward moving average uh, 150 again price drop down today you can see price just open neck gap down have you seen it and that was our previous uh, closing price and today here we have seen this is a opening price so in between this area we have seen there is a gap uh, down all right so in that case i draw a uh, i drawn around three zero eight two zero that is a resistance line why this is resistance line why is it important because we have seen there is a 200 exponential moving average which are following as a resistance all right let me show you in h1 chart how it should look like that in h1 chart exactly we have seen uh 20 moving average are there have you seen so we are expecting price again push up toward this uh 200 oh sorry 20 exponential moving average in between this area let me show you another here so we have seen there a resistance zone what is the resistance zone uh, now we can see 3 0 8 uh, 20 and another 3 1 0 4 uh, five you can see in between this area we have seen this is called a resistance zone remember this is a resistance zone once price enter in this zone this is called no traded zone and remember don't try to catch every pips all right so if price uh, enter in this area so we are not looking for uh, take any position all right for the buy we are looking for breakout and for sell we are looking for sell signal below this zone all right let me show you in small time frame oh, now you can see so let me show you in h1 now in h1 chart we have seen two swing point have you seen now is it clear now we have seen price are running in between this zone all right like that have you got it we have seen price are running like that so for the buy we are looking for a confirmation above this area so we are expecting price will run like that all right we are expecting like that means we are looking for uh, for some uh, buy confirmation above this area all right and then now we can see if price break this supporting line this is called diagonal support and if price break this supporting line we are looking for short below this supporting line all right and buy we are looking for above this area so that means this this area called buy and sell zone we need a confirmation remember blindly don't enter in this market so we are looking for buy confirmation here and a sell confirmation below this line and the next the buy confirmation we have seen here above this resistance line and the sell confirmation we are looking for uh, below this uh, so resistance line right this is sorry this is a supporting line and uh, this is a resistance line in that case now let me show you in a 15 minute how it should look like that now in 15 minute we have seen for intraday we have seen another uh, sell opportunity one is once price retrace toward this zone if they are giving any sell signal below 3082 which is uh, a resistance zone so we are looking for short below this area so means 
one cell signal we have seen in this area and another cell signal we have seen in this area two cell remember and for the buy we are looking for another small uh, for intraday buy opportunity here and another buy opportunity in this area all right so i hope you enjoyed this video if you like this video please like and subscribe thanks for watching